that easy. <laughs> hey, Ryan. I don't know if it's been addressed much with the team, but this game you're playing is part of a Pac-12 pilot program to shorten the length of games. So the halftime is five minutes shorter. Does Coach mention that with you guys? Is that something you're aware of going into the game? It's a minor detail, but might change what you guys do a little bit. Yeah, I guess <clears throat> if I'm thinking about it, this, the halftime did seem a little shorter. But uh, other than that, I think it just makes it a little harder to get some corrections going if you really need them. Um, but other than that, Coach Mack and the coaches around us haven't really emphasized that the uh, half times are any shorter or whatnot. But, you know, I guess my focus is elsewhere anyway, I guess. Ryan, what do you guys have to work? What does the defense have to work on this week uh, in, their, in your last non-conference game? Uh, you know, in order to continue to keep winning and uh, to get better on defense, we have to get better at the things that we haven't been doing so well the past weeks, you know. Um, maybe things I could identify as tackling for myself. You know, I've, I've missed some tackles. And when we get in a Pac-12 play, you know, you go against Washington, the USC's and everything, those are going to be touchdowns when you miss those tackles. So, uh, you know, big emphasis on, on fine-tuning the details while we can right now and definitely, you know, putting the package together so we can be ready to hit the ground running, you know, with Pac-12 play next week. Ryan, two games into this newish scheme you guys are running now, evaluation kind of, what do you think? How's it going? I think, uh, you know, we're coming together really well. I think that it, it, it's more of a similar scheme than uh, some might think. And, you know, all defenses, each coach is going to have their own twist to whatever they want to do. And that's just going to happen. That's just life and that's just ball, right? I think everything that we're doing is pretty similar um, to a lot of things actually that we did last year. So it, it makes the whole transition a lot easier for those of us who have played last year with that scheme with Jim Levitt and now with uh, Coach Elliott. I think that you know we're we're on a, a great track to you know elevate you know our level of play <clears throat> and get better each week as it goes on, so that we can be that dominant force that you know we really strive to be. Ryan, obviously strengths of your game. Having Evan Worthington out there now, also a versatile guy, how has that dynamic changed kind of your responsibility out there in games? You know, having Evan around is a, is a great addition to the team, you know, and, and he's been around before, right? And him him being around, being able to, to help us out on, you know, many different facets, like special teams, um, defense. He's uh, just that, that extra body that we can rely on to get the work done that we need done. So we can uh, insert here, you know, it's kind of like X in the equation. And uh, he's done a, a very good job of, of learning the defense, you know, after taking some time off. And um, he uh, definitely hasn't wavered any, any bit. Ryan, I think I saw yesterday um, you guys are one of only maybe three or four teams that haven't allowed a touchdown so far this season. When you hear that, is that surprising? Is that what you expected? It seems pretty unbelievable. Well, uh, you know, the defense, when we go out there, we expect to, to make stops. So the fact that they have that we haven't let up a touchdown yet isn't surprising, um, you know, and it's something that we should strive to carry on through the entire season. Now, like, I haven't thought about that statistic or heard anyone else bring it up until now. But, you know, I, I'm proud of, of what everyone's done. And I'm proud of the work that we're getting. Yeah, we're getting in and, and, and all the changes we're making to, to be a better team so that we can continue that. I think, you know, football football is a volatile game, you know, and stuff's going to go. You know, sometimes it goes down uh, the chute when we really don't need it to, and other times it, it works out well. So I think, you know, it's a great, it's a great statistic for now. But uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to see, you know, the, the fourth down stops, the third down stops, the three and outs, everything else that we can produce, the turnovers, you know, on defense, everything that, you know, will keep us through the rest of the season, as well as not letting them score touchdowns. Ryan, you played a lot of football here, and, and it had to be kind of versatile in terms of your role with this defense. How, how would you say as a senior now, you're a better football player today than maybe you have been in previous years? Uh, you know, I think that's just the maturity and being older. I think that you, know, you, have, a, you have a little better understanding as the years go on. Um, I think if I were to <laughs> talk to freshman self, freshman Ryan, he might look a little more like a deer in headlights at times, but not saying that doesn't happen now, but that's why now you, you got to ask the questions and you have to ask questions then too. And I think, uh, you know, the big difference between maturity and a player is being able to ask those questions and really see the, the things unfold in front of your eyes. You, you have to like, visualization is huge. And um, 
you know, uh, the preparation that I've taken from day one since I've gotten here at Colorado, you know, has put me and helped elevate me to be where I am today. And uh, I'm definitely not looking to settle right now, and I'm trying to, you know, continue to elevate my play.